To succeed on a negligence claim, a plaintiff must generally prove that the defendant owed a duty to conform to a certain standard of care, the defendant breached that duty, and the breach caused the plaintiff's harm. Whether those elements are satisfied usually involves questions of fact, and they can be addressed by direct or circumstantial evidence. In Safeco Insurance Company v. Mobile Power & Light Company, we explored the doctrine of res ipsa loquitur as a form of circumstantial evidence. After a house fire, homeowners Audrey and Brenda Lloyd hired Mobile Power & Light Company to repair their electrical system. The county inspection department inspected both Mobile's plans and the final product. Satisfied with the work and its compliance with applicable regulations, the department authorized reactivation of power to the Lloyd's home. Two years later, a second, smaller fire occurred, after which a third party replaced a fuse disconnect in the Lloyd's panel box. Just a few months later, there was a third fire. This one destroyed the Lloyd's house, prompting them to make a claim under their homeowner's insurance policy with Safeco Insurance Company. After paying the Lloyds' claim, Safeco, via subrogation, acquired any legal claims the Lloyds had against responsible parties. Safeco sued Mobile, alleging that Mobile's negligent repairs after the first fire caused the latest fire. At a pretrial deposition, Safeco's technical expert testified that the fire started in the panel box and that there were three possible causes, namely improper installation, mechanical failure, or thermal shrinkage. Mobile moved for summary judgment presenting testimony from the county building inspector that its work complied with all relevant regulations and didn't breach any standard of care, and arguing that Mobile, therefore, wasn't negligent. The trial court granted Mobile's motion, but the state appeals court reversed. The Alabama Supreme Court granted cert.